Alrighty, hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about your body content. So, so far, we talked about navigation a little bit, the logo, all of the headings, and stuff like that. You know, the title. Your body content is pretty much everything else. So, if you're writing an article, then it's the main text. If you're, you know, making like a post on some social network, it's all the text that you wrote. It's pretty much the majority of your website is going to be made up of the actual main content. Now, the reason I say this is because whenever a search engine is looking that if your site is relevant to whatever the user is trying to look for, we already know that it looks at certain locations, the title, the heading in these specific areas. Now it also looks at the content, but what it does whenever it looks at the content is not only does it look for if the keyword exists in your content, like bacon, it also looks how frequent that keyword occurs. Now I say this because if the keyword bacon, let's say some user typed in bacon for whatever reason, they were just looking for web pages about bacon. If it looks at my website and I have one word about bacon, then Google is going to think, you know what? This website is probably about something else. Maybe Bucky was just telling a story about bacon, but this entire website probably isn't about bacon if it only occurred once. Now, in contrast to that, look at Wikipedia's page about bacon. You see the bacon word one, two, uh, three. I mean, it's like every other word basically. So, Again, it's not only where your keywords appear, the heading, the title, etc., but it's how often or frequent they appear. So I know what you're thinking already. All right, I want to have the number one ranked bacon site. So I'm just going to write something like this. Uh, do you like bacon? I like bacon. It is very bacony and bacon is crispy and bacon 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 you're just going to throw the keyword in like 7000 times look man i'm a really good accurate typer but guys i am warning you do not do this whenever you do this and just overuse the word in order to you know try to kind of trick the search engine this is actually called keyword abuse or people often call it keyword stuffing and a, not only is it unreadable to humans when you just have bacon every other word in a sentence, but it's actually going to hurt your search results because Google knows that you're you pretty much are doing something shady. So do not do keyword stuffing. Whenever you're writing an article or web page about bacon, just write it about bacon. Let those words occur naturally, and those are going to give you the biggest boost in your search results. Now, one of the last things I want to talk about is content length. So let's say that you're making some website about bacon. Let's stick with that. And you had a bunch of content, maybe like five pages worth of information. So now you have to decide, should I stick these on five different pages or should I just have one long article about bacon? And the answer is dun dun dun, one long article. Content length is key. So it's better whenever you have a bunch of related content to have them all on the same page. And that's why, you know, all those stupid websites. Now, this is one of my biggest pet peeves where it's like 10 recipes for bacon and they break it up into 10 different slides by click next. And then, you know, a thousand ads pop up on every page. Do not do this. It's like shooting yourself in the foot for search results. And I don't know. I just can't stand it. And also it sucks for the actual users of your site when they have to click something 10 times to read like one little sentence. So I'm gonna quit venting now, but all right, there you go. So we're gonna be taking a look a little more about keywords later on, but for right now, we got a pretty good overview of how it works. Again, as general guidelines, remember, whenever you're trying to target a keyword or you're trying to appear high in the search results for a certain term, take that term and put it in your title once, no more. Put it in your meta description once no more put it in your h1 or h2 headings once no more and then in your main content this just let that keyword appear naturally so do not stuff your keywords do not just you know throw in a bunch of nonsensical terms everywhere you can those are the best guidelines that you could use to get the biggest boost in your search results. So there you go, 
I'll see you guys in the next video.